Hey, this is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your IoT button to set a specific temperature to your Nest thermostat with a press of the button. So I've just pressed the button. And now the thermostat is set to 75. Let me go over the materials you'll need. Well, we'll start with the button. You need this button. You can buy this straight off Amazon. Uh, this is not a product endorsement. I did not get paid to make this video here. It does come in this nifty little box. Please do hold on to the box and it is, as it is part of this tutorial. Scanning the barcode on the box is part of this tutorial. So you need the button first. Number two, you will need your Nest thermostat already set up and on your Nest account with the app. Uh, so please make sure you've done that. If you haven't already done that, I'll link to a video below where I've set up the Nest thermostat. Next, you'll need an AWS account. AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. It does require a credit card or debit card to set that account up. Please go ahead and do that before you start the tutorial. You also need an IFT account if this then that, ifttt.com. And that is free to set up. Uh, please set that up prior to starting this tutorial. All the links are provided in the description field below. You'll also need a computer with internet access to get to all these great websites that I'm gonna show you. Uh, you'll need the source code, link to that below. Uh, and you'll also need your smartphone and you'll need to download a specific app that will help uh, configure your button. And I'll go over that in this tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna search for the AWS IoT button. So it's right here, AWS IoT button. And the first one that comes up says AWS IoT button dev, development. So let's, set, let's select that one and we're gonna hit install. And I'm going to accept terms and conditions and click accept, touch accept, and we'll download. And I will, now I've got it download, it's, a, it's installed on my mobile device, and I'll click open. Welcome to the AWS IoT button app. This app lets you connect your button to AWS IoT. It configures Wi-Fi, provisions the button with security credentials, and tells AWS IoT what to do when the button is pressed. Swipe. All right, so ready to use Lambda Function Blueprints. This is really key to making this super easy to do. So I'm gonna sign in with my AWS account, and it says I haven't connected a button yet. I'm in my correct region. I haven't connected a button yet. I'm gonna set up for AWS IoT button. So you register, configure, and then you set the button action. And I'm gonna agree and get started. All right, so this is why it's so important to hold on to the box, because there's this nice little barcode on the box that I'm gonna scan. So I'm gonna click scan barcode, and I'm gonna scan the second barcode on this box. Now, if you don't have this, you can type in the DSN number. All right, and I'm, I, and it's given it a name of IoT button 5GC5A. I'm gonna register the button. Now it says press the button for six seconds until the blue light flashes. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. There it goes, there's the blue button. And now I get to pick the Wi-Fi network and type in the password. So this is really key here because it's only configured for one Wi-Fi at a time. It's not like your mobile device that's always looking for Wi-Fi hotspots and then goes into the LTE network uh, when it can't find Wi-Fi. So please be aware, if your power goes out, your button stops working. If your internet goes out, your button stops working. And now the button's being configured and we see the lights changing on our device. And we are on the internet. Now we can create a Lambda function. So I'm gonna choose send SMS Node.js. It's the third one down on this of my choices. And so you wanna type in your phone number. It's very important. I'm assuming you're in the US. I'm in the US 
that you always put the number one first and then your phone number. So I clicked OK, and then I'm going to touch Set Action at the bottom. And at this point, we should be able to single press the button and I should be able to see a text message on my phone at this point. And it's going to be a generic text message. So let's, so let's see if that works. One press, lights up white, and then green, and I should be uh, viewing a text message on my phone. And sure enough, here it is. This is the text message, my phone, hello from your IoT button. So this is the generic text message that comes up when you set it up. All right, so that's great. So now we've got our AWS IoT button set up on our Wi-Fi, on my Wi-Fi network, and I do have it working to, to press the button and I do receive the generic text message that comes across. So next. Hey guys, this section is a screen record of my computer. This is called If This Then That. I'm already logged in. As I said at the beginning of this video, you need to have a free account created on this service. So I'm gonna start, this is the default page when you first log in. I'm gonna click on search. And then I'm gonna type in webhook. And that's what I'm gonna search for right here. Services, webhooks, click on webhooks. And Webhook in integrates other services on IFT for your DIY projects. That is us today. So I'm going to click Connect. And you just have to do this once to set it up. And after that, you'll have your Webhook. And that's it. We've, we've set it up. Now we've got our Webhook. So I'm going to go to Settings. And here it is. We have our URL right here. So what you need is you need these characters here. Now I'm going to block some of them just because you need to keep your webhook, your unique ID a secret because anybody can take your ID and then use it for their own purposes and start sending commands using this unique ID. I'm going to take that over to our AWS Management Console. So I've already logged into AWS. I'm going to type in Lambda. Run code without thinking about servers. And I'm going to click last modified twice to get to the very last Lambda function that I worked on, which is the IoT button. Click on that, and now you see the default code that we just loaded in the last step. I'm going to delete all that code. That was a control A, and then delete all the code. Now I'm going to go over and find the source code. The source code is at this URL, the, it's in the description field below. And uh, this is a tutorial that from Marcus Rochester, thank you very much. And this is his code. So scroll down to get to the code. It is Lambda code right here. Now you've got the option to copy the code. This makes it super simple to get to the code. Copied, go back to Lambda console and paste. And now all you have to do is replace your private key right here with your secret key from the ift command right here. So we're going to copy paste, we're going to copy our webhook unique ID and paste it into where the private ID is. And really that's all you need to do. Now you want to hit the save button and we're good to go on our ift command here. So now we've got our button reprogrammed with the IFT integration Lambda code. Go back to IFT now and we're going to go back to My Applets. So we've got applets. We want to create a new applet. So we click on New Applet. If this, then that. And you get to create your command. So if this, so we, we want to use Webhook again. Click on Webhook receive a web request, that's what we want to do, and the event name in this scenario is single. So you have your choice of single, double, or long. So those are the three types of presses that you can have with the button. I'm going to choose single for right now and create a trigger. So if a single press on the button, then what do I want to do? And you've got, these are all your choices. There's a ton of choices on here. But for purposes of this video, since we're setting our Nest thermostat, I'm going to type in Nest. 
and now we need to connect it to our Nest thermostat. So at the beginning of the video, I said, hey, you need to have your Nest set up, ready to go already. So this assumes you already did that, so connect. So then you wanna log in to your Nest. And you have to authorize IFT to control your Nest. Now, I'm gonna accept. And I've got three choices. Set temperature, set temperature range, or turn on fan for 15 minutes. I'm gonna select set temperature, and I've got one thermostat, it's in my entryway. I'm gonna set the temperature, and you can choose whatever temperature you want for a single click, single press of your button. So I'm gonna choose 75, that's what you saw at the beginning of the video, and degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna create the action. Then I'm gonna click finish. So this is, this is what I, just created if maker event single, then set temperature for entry weight thermostat. Click finish. You made a new applet and it is on. And now every time I press my button a single time, it will change my entry rate thermostat to 75 degrees. Thanks for watching my tutorial with the AWS IoT button. I hope you found this fun and enjoyable and pretty simple to set up. And the possibilities after you set up AWS IoT button with IFT are really endless. There's a lot more choices. Please go feel free to explore and let me know what other projects you came up with in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.